What's up, my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be featuring the Yak 3, battle rating 4.3, rank 3, Russian fighter. Now, this was actually a viewer suggestion, and I will not forget to put the comment in the video this time. I do apologize for last time. Um, I do take viewer suggestions, by the way. Tanks, planes, uh, not ships, though. Ships are butt. Don't, don't suggest ships. I, I won't do it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the Yak-3, he called it Russian bias, low-tier Russian bias, and that, yeah, that tracks, that absolutely tracks. This plane, in the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing, can be absolutely terrifying. Um, I did play a couple games in, uh, before recording this, you know, just to kind of warm up a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, this plane is scary, um, absolutely very scary, <clears throat> and I'll get into why in just a minute. But before I do, Twitch and Discord links in the description below, in-game squadron on screen now. I just want to get that out of the way. And now let's jump into the Yak-3. Now, the Yak-3 is best described as a jack-of-all-trades. Um, you know, I, I kind of subscribe to that uh, method of thinking as well. It's very good in a lot of ways. Um, very good turn fighter, very good energy retention. Um, it does very well at low to mid altitudes. You don't want to take it above about 4,000 meters, that's about 12,000 feet, it can go higher, um, but you are going to notice a severe performance drop, especially above 15,000 feet, about 4,500 meters or so, uh, give or take a little bit there. But um, it's definitely built for low and mid altitude. There's very few planes um, at this BR that outperform the Yak-3, especially at sea level. Um, Basically, what the Russians did with the Yak-3, or all the Yaks, really, but they really kind of nailed it together with the Yak-3, is they wanted, basically, a BF-109. The smallest plane possible with the most powerful guns and the most powerful engine. And that's basically what you got here. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't do so well in dives. That's the only thing that I've observed that this plane struggles with. It has a very low rip speed, about 420 miles per hour. Um, I don't really know the quick conversion, so you might have to, you know, do that on your own. It starts to red lane just above 400 miles per hour, and then the wings will actually rip at about 425, right around there somewhere. So it's very little room and leeway for you when you're making, you know, vertical maneuvers. You have to really watch your speed. Um, if you're diving on somebody, you really want to do, like, shallow spiral dives. That's really the only way that I've seen really works. Um, when I'm diving on people who are a good distance beneath me. But as far as planes to really watch out for, um, XP-50s for sure, <laughs> P-38s, um, some BF-109s, like the BF-109 G2, G6, um, you know, just planes like that, um, that do have that high altitude performance, and you just have to watch out for that and watch, uh, watch your enemies, watch what they're doing. But as far as the engine goes, you got a VK-105 in here pushing, <clears throat> excuse me, 1230 horsepower at takeoff. It doesn't get wet, so, you know, it's just a flat, or I said 1240, I meant 1320, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gets a flat 1320, no wet, um, and I always will find myself holding down the W key in Russian planes, and I'm like, oh wait, they don't have wet. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just kind of a like a brain thing of mine. Uh, as far as the guns, you get two 50 caliber machine guns and a 20 millimeter cannon, just like you would on the Yak 7B or the Yak 9s over here. Uh, actually, I don't know if this one gets two machine guns. Nope, you only get one. That's sad. Uh, but yeah, you get an extra machine gun opposed to the Yak 9s. Um, if you can aim your shots, it has a pretty low ammo count 300 rounds for the machine guns, 120 rounds for the cannon. Um, I've still consistently scored four or five, even six kill games on one sortie. Um, if you know how to aim, these guns will do absolutely everything you need them to. And they're just, like like I said, Rus Russian bias. That's, that's all I got. It's Russian bias. <laughs> if there ever were a plane that embodies that, I don't really subscribe to that. I think that's what people say when they're shit. But um, <clears throat> that it would be this plane, truthfully. But um, I think that I've talked enough about the Yak-3. I did my whole spiel about Twitch and Discord already. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump straight in. Alrighty, we are here on Sicily against the Italians, 
the Germans, the French, not the Italians, my bad, the French, <laughs> and the Swedish, the British, the Swedish, the Germans, and the French. Okay, so I got two out of four off the bat. Not bad, not bad. I'm probably going to go ahead and level out here soon. I don't really want to climb up too far, simply because the uh, Yak 3 doesn't really do too well at high altitude. Got a Falk Wolf 190 coming in. Alright, let's be smart about this. I bet you I could probably get him too. I'm just gonna shadow this guy. There's no way he doesn't see me. There's a whole lot of them. Yep, there he goes, turning. I don't know why he turned into me. Okay, well, he's on fire. Severe damage. I will take it. Fuck off 190A1. Let's just keep going. That BF 109 probably won't be able to catch me. Oh, good stuff, Mr. BF 109. Alright. Who is beneath me? Who's around me? Who's around me? J26 down on the deck. I don't really want to chase down a J26. Let's go after the Spitfire. Why not? Why not? He's coming my direction, chasing down a year or two. And you're dead. Good stuff. And I saved the bomber. I saved the bomber, hooray! Alright. Now we can probably start going lower. How is that 190 still alive? Cut the throttle, let's go ahead and just do a shallow dive because we'll compress really, really early. Let's actually go ahead and kill our engine. I don't want them to hear me coming. This little cheeky, cheeky tip right there, and... Oh, come on, y'all. I want to bleed some of this speed off. That way I don't rip my wings. Alright, I'm just going to send it. Yep, reduce speed. Don't compress, don't compress, don't compress. Alright, there's the 190. Let's turn our engine back on. Let's go after this VB-10. I distracted the 190 and I got him off the XP50. Get him XP50, get him, get him, get him, get him. Couple hits, nothing crazy. I feel kind of bad for doing this so close to their base, but then again, I don't feel bad, because we're winning. Alright, let's keep going. We just have all these guys dead to rights. Do not die, XP50. That didn't feel too good. I'm on fire. I'd prefer it to go out. Oh, there goes my wing. Well, that's sad. All right, got four, four kills. Oh my goodness, I wasn't even keeping track. That's crazy. Got an assist for the 190. I will take it. GG, boys. Alrighty, we are here on Zheng Zhao versus the Americans, the Japanese K100 over there, and. Hmm, I saw it, I saw it, Italians. I was like, I know this, I'm, I know this, there's a B-25 over here, you know, he looks, looks kind of tasty. 
I wouldn't normally go for bombers in the Yak-3 because it's got very limited ammo, but these guns are very punchy, so... Maybe. Maybe B-25, I bet you smoke good. Oh, well, <laughs> the, the Yak-3P got him. Okay, well, I will uh, take that. Counts as a kill, I'll accept that. The Act 3 p is basically just a better version of me. He's got uh, three cannons, no, two cannons, I think. Either two or three. Either way, it's a scary boy. We're in a full up tier to 5 0. No, 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 nothing, nothing. Alright, where's that P 38? There's that P 38. He's on the Yak. Alright, let's get this P 38. Oh, I had him. I have him. Alright. I have very little ammo left. <laughs> Let's go see if we can't get the, uh, the XP-50 here. That P-38's done. Okay, I 100 low. XP-50, two miles away, going for the C-5, going evasive. Looks like he's head oning the BF-109, and he's dead. Alright, sweet. Awesome. B-26B, KI-100, P-61, and a Corsair. You know what? Let's make a pass at the B-26. Yeah, I see you. Okay, well, my cooling system is uh, fucked. My pilot's kind of hurt. My fuel tank is sealing, and everything is okay for now. For now. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push my luck here. My pilot's looking rough, but... Alright! Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! Hooray! Alright, where's that other B-26? He's still burning. Oh, there's an P-51 in my way. Kind of in my way, buddy. Alright, looks like that guy's going down. That B-26 is still burning as well. Empty oil. I'm, I'm just kind of waiting for both of those B-26s to just die, truthfully. Severe damage. Okay, I don't know on which one. Look at him, just go. I love that. I'm, I'm still unsure how I feel about the severe damage. I mean, yes, it's nice. It improves survivability a lot. But that's definitely a double-edged sword, you know? Maybe, no. Nah, I'm definitely not the only one who thinks that. Let me know what you guys think, because I'm genuinely curious. Okay, well... The, uh, one of them went down, and I'm just waiting on him, basically. Yeah, there he goes, there's the third one, and there's the last one, still just kind of trucking along, burning, so... I'm gonna RTB and land, and maybe I'll score some more kills. I don't know yet. I'll see you guys in the next one, most likely. Alrighty, we are here on Rocky Pillars, the Ace Combat map, against the Americans and the Germans, it seems. Yes. And it's also, I want to say... 3-7, because we got an A6M2 Mod 11, I'm not sure if that's 3-3 three, three or 3-7, three, I can't quite remember. Alright, we got a BF-109 two miles away, and a couple P-51s at altitude as well. Alright, let's see if we can't go after the BF-109 and the P-51 here. Let me see if I can get this P-51. I have him in a advantageous position now. And I can probably catch him too. P-51C. I don't know why you'd go that way. I would have dove. Yep, 
All right, well, that is a dead P-51, and the KI-100 got the BF-109. Absolutely delicious. A lot of B-25s, a lot of bombers. Got a BF-109 four miles away. P-47 on fire on the deck. Very nice. XP-50, six o'clock high. Lovely. Love that. I'm just going to call him out for the team so that way they know he's there. Let's go for this BF-109 here. <clears throat> Smurf number 15. I wonder what the deal's been with people putting numbers in their names recently. I don't know what the deal is with that. And he's probably going to be able to outdive me here, so I'm not going to stay with him. I'm going to call him out again, so that way people are aware. <laughs> uh, you never know. Alright, KO100 took a pass at him. Looks like he got hurt. And I'm still moving quite quickly. <laughs> I think my best bet is to go after this BF-109. Reduce speed, because I'm going to rip my wings into a million little pieces. Reduce speed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was close. Absolutely beautiful. That was gorgeous. Two kills, not bad, not bad. They have a lot of B-25s though, so I'm probably just gonna ground pound and see you guys back at the hangar. Alright my dudes, that's going to be it for today's video in the Yak 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. I most certainly absolutely did. Um, I, I forget just how busted the Yaks can be in the hands of a skilled pilot, and I frankly don't show them enough love. There's a whole lot of planes at the low mid tier range that I just don't give enough love to man I'm man I, I, I I'm I'm a bad I'm a bad plane parent <clears throat> shout out to all my bad plane parents out there but uh no for real um like I said at the beginning if there were <laughs> the an embodiment of the the idea of Russian bias it would probably be the Yak 3 sitting here at 4.3 um very few planes that can match it uh at low and mid altitudes um, and if you're at high altitude, you're doing it wrong, quite frankly. Um, and it, it just has all the cards stacked in its favor. It's light, it has a super powerful engine, very punchy guns. Um, and once you add, you know, a pilot who knows what they're doing into the mix, it can be a devastating combination of factors that can just really tip the balance in your favor or in your team's favor. And really, that that's all I have for the Yak-3. It's a great plane. Um, go go show it some love. It loves you. It deserves love. Go feed it. Feed it, feed it the souls of brainlit American pilots who don't know what they're doing. Do it. It demands food. Um, no, but for real. Twitch and Discord links in, in the description below. In-game squadron on screen one more time for those of you who, in, who are interested. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.